This is an incredible value. And I, you know, I would upgrade a couple brakes. Or I would upgrade. I would upgrade, I'm gonna upgrade a couple of these brakes. One or two of them. Guys got a really exciting video. I'm really excited about this bike. It's the Mongoose Envoy custom e-bike build. Turn this into an electric bike. Really excited to go over this, give you my thoughts. Yeah, if you're new to this channel, Johnny Nerd Out, I don't know why you're new to this channel. I hate it when people do this. I'll make my preamble super quick. I build custom e-bike builds. I do troubleshooting videos. I have a website just for selling components, parts, help, all that stuff. Go to johnnynerdout.com. Let's get into this video. Okay, so this is a Mongoose Envoy. I'm really excited about getting this bike. I saw this came out this previous summer of like 2021. I saw it when they introduced this. I was like, this is interesting. Mongoose making a cargo bike. For the longest time, you've known Mongoose, they were really good. And then they kind of, they sold out to this being like this cheap, cheap brand. But obviously with this bike, they're trying to be relevant again. I actually really like this bike. And I think they're gonna, they might have a good chance of being relevant again with this bike. This bike is about 700 bucks on Amazon, or you could buy them wherever you buy your bikes. It's about seven, 800 bucks. So for a full long tail cargo bike for under a grand, that's, you can't, it's, you just can't get a bike like that. This is the only option. And it's actually pretty, pretty well made. They didn't really cheap out on anything. There's nothing that's just like, oh my gosh, why'd you do this? Nothing is like super high end. Um, and just to, right off the gate, it does come with full pannier bags, front and rear. Um, I took them off though, I, I'm not putting them on. I, uh, a customer bought this bike, shipped it to me. I converted it, now I'm just gonna put it right back in the box and ship it to him. So I didn't wanna undo, take the bags out. And for the performance test, I didn't wanna have extra weight, but the bags are big. They're full bags on both sides. For under a grand, it comes with the bags. Usually those are like 100 bucks a pop, I think is what I spent on my Benno carry on. Okay, so anyways, let's get right over this. It's got mechanical disc brakes. I think they're 180 millimeter up front. Yeah, 180s up front. Um, they're they're Mongoose branded calipers. So, you know, they're not Tektro, they're not Shimano. Whatever, they got 180s in the front and it looks like 160s in the rear. But, you know, a brake upgrade is super simple to do. Cost you maybe a hundred bucks to even put hydraulic disc brakes on here, which is what you know, I would probably do if this was my bike, I'd probably ride these down, at least go through one set of, of pads. And then after that, I'd probably, when it's time to repair or replace the pads, I'd probably just buy a new set and just put hydraulics on. It's got an interesting handlebar setup. It's got that, that double mount here, which is really nice for e-bikes because if, if you e-bike nerds out there know, you like to put accessories on your handlebars. And now you, you essentially have two two rows to put an ungodly amount of farkles on there. You could put your, your Bluetooth speaker here, you could put the big big display here, you could put a bell here, put a horn. You could put a, a whole bunch of crap up here. And you can see it like this, there's still so much room on here. Um, it does have an eight speed Shimano shifter, which is nice. It's got the Altis derailleur back there, but it's an all-in-one integrated shifter brake unit. So for that, you could either replace the unit or you know we just went with uh, an inline brake cutoff that way you don't have to replace this. You just add this to it. We are gonna be putting a mirror on this, a bell and rechargeable headlights, the Raveman 1000 rechargeable lights that I sell. Uh, I didn't wanna install that on here because I'm just shipping it right back out. You don't wanna install a mirror and all this stuff that's just gonna break off. We put a BBS HD because this customer wants to use this bike as a car alternative. He doesn't wanna be riding his car at all. So he's like, I, I want something cheap, reliable, and I just wanna use this thing as my car. And I was like, this, this could be the perfect bike for you. All in at about two grand, you got yourself a work car. Except when something breaks on this, it's, you're not gonna be socked with a thousand dollar car repair bill. It's maybe 30, 40 bucks anytime something breaks on this. But we went with the BBS HD. It's a 68 millimeter bottom bracket, which is pretty, I guess it's pretty standard. For some reason I was expecting it to be like a hundred millimeter, but just a standard 68 millimeter bottom bracket. So you could put a BBS 02 on this if you wanted to. Um, we went with a 36 tooth Lecky chain ring because you know he's gonna be hauling a lot of stuff. He wants to put his kids on the back. He wants to probably be hauling a trailer. It's like, let's put a small chain ring on here then so that it has good low end torque, pope pulling. If you don't, you run the risk of your motor, you, you want your motor to be spinning fast and that small chain ring allows it to spin fast, especially when you're in your lowest gear. It's gonna spin fast, gonna keep that motor nice and healthy. 
You get into trouble when you put a big chain ring up here and you're running your small cassette, your cog back there. Your motor's just chug lugging, putting a lot of amps and there's no, there's no way to dissipate that heat with no speed. Um, you can see we are missing a uh, pedal here. That was not an accident. Mongoose, true to their old self, sent this bike with two left pedals. So hopefully they're, they're seeing this bike they're seeing this video, they're realizing their potential, and they're saying, hey, let's get our act together. Let's make sure that we send a left and a right pedal. You know, people are really into that. They like having both pedals. So they're going to send him a replacement part, but still, it's like, ah, so close. Yeah, I didn't have to put any extension cables on this at all, which is really nice. The speedometer pickup sensor was super close, so I almost had to put a, a pickup sensor on that, but, it, but I didn't. Um, I had to install this uh, footrest here comes in two parts but it's nice there's a little bit of a gap down here and the cables just run right through it so it's nice and tucked in comes with a rear fender and a front fender and a cut does going to come with like a it's called like the deflopilator it's like a little spring here that keeps your steering wheel straight and it keeps it from getting wobbly at higher speeds again i'm not installing this because i would just have to take it right back off i didn't want to do this but it does come with full coverage front and rear fenders man this is a great value bike for seven or eight hundred bucks depending on the season and the stock of where you get this from this frame looks strong to hold people i would probably put it i i wouldn't feel bad putting a 200 pound person on the back of that and going around anyways let's go do a johnny nerd out test see how this thing performs You can see 33 miles an hour. That's no slouch with the 36 tooth up here. How fast do you need to go? 33 is, is fine. That's moped. This is a moped right here. And you can see this thing hill climb like a billy goat, man. No problem at all getting up that super steep hill. There ain't no way a hub motor is going to be doing this. And there's no way that you can even buy any cargo bike for under a thousand bucks. You could buy pre-made electric bikes, but those are going to be two, three, four thousand dollars at least. And the ones for two or three thousand bucks are going to have a hub motor on it. And you know, for a cargo bike, a hub motor doesn't really make much sense. If you're going to be using it for the intents and purposes that a cargo bike is designed for, I would strongly not recommend putting a hub motor on a cargo bike. For me, that's one of the stupidest things that you could do. It's just you're mismatching the powertrain with the car. It's like putting a small two-liter non-turboed engine in a big F-250. It's just it's not matching up. You want to make sure that you put a mid-drive on a cargo bike and then gear it properly to how you envision you're going to be riding this thing. Towing, if you're not towing, you don't need to put such a small chain ring up front. I'm really excited about this bike. I think they're going to sell a whole bunch of them. And if you're looking for a cheap car alternative, it doesn't get any cheaper than this. All right, see you guys. No, no pictures taken today. I don't want my pictures taken. You don't want it? I don't want my pictures taken. Okay. It's up to you. You want to come say hi? Yeah, come. It's a video.